So a very good evening to all of you who have joined us today for our day two of this webinar series with the Kavita Holistic Approach Study Group and in collaboration with Homeopathy 360. So here I welcome you to the day two that is 26th of October 2020 on uh, on for a webinar series on Homeopathy or Holistic Healing by Car Study Group Kavita Holistic Approach and Homeopathy 360. I Dr. Yashika Arora will be the moderator for today's session for all of you and I hope you are excited to learn uh, a new topic uh, on this platform that is for the very first time we are organizing an, a webinar on this topic and I hope everybody would be enjoying the session because we have a great personality who will be uh, who will be uh, teaching us about Reiki uh, and uh, she is one of uh, I would I, I must say that she is one of uh, uh, she is uh, one of the perfect person to explain about uh, uh, Reiki uh, uh, that is uh, one of the part of this holistic healing art so I welcome all of you to this webinar and before I begin the session and uh, introduce uh, the all the dignitaries as well as the speaker of the day I would just request you to kindly visit the websites of Kavita holistic approach as well as homeopathy 360 uh, so you are requested to visit kavita k homeo.com as well as www.homeopathy360 360.com if we talk about capitalistic approach study group car study group that's working so hard uh, worldwide to organize webinars of great speakers uh, that, that they are that who are perfect uh, who are actually um, I, I must say who are uh, excelled in their own uh, in their in each of their skills so uh, as well as promoting homeopathy through various social portals as well as doing uh, something uh, different for homeopathic fraternity so uh, the 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 person behind this Kavita holistic approach, I would say, is uh, none other than Doc, uh, Dr. Kavita Kukunur, ma'am. As you all know, she is the lady behind this webinar series as well. So I would like to present thanks to the whole Kavita holistic approach group, uh, cast study group, Dr. Shweta, ma'am, Dr. Regina, ma'am. Uh, all the volunteers, all the team members, and Dr. Kavita Kokunur, ma'am, uh, no doubt. So I am thankful on behalf of Homeopathy 360 for uh, giving us this opportunity to collaborate with CAR Study Group and organize this webinar series. So as you all know, uh, that uh, the, uh, as you all know about Homeopathy 360. So before I begin, I also want to thank Mr. Manish Jain, the director of Bijan Publishers, who have given us this platform as well as trying his levels level best to promote homeopathic knowledge free of cost to the to the to the, all the people who are interested in learning uh, learning homeopathy. And uh, Homeopathy 360 is an online portal, as you all know. So I request everybody to kindly mail your articles, your publications, or anything you want to get updated on homeopathy on the website. So you are always welcome. For that, you can mail me at yashika at the rate homeopathy360.com. Or you can also mail me at webinar at the rate homeopathy360.com if you have queries for regarding the webinar. For homeopathic heritage, you can mail me the articles at hheditor at the rate vision.com. That's homeopathic heritage, as you all know, is a peer-reviewed journal. Uh, in a peer-reviewed journal that is one of the oldest monthly running journal for publishing your research papers and uh, case studies. Uh, and if you want to get your books published, or you want any information regarding the books, uh, books department of vision, you can mail for the same at the same email. Also, uh, now I think I should in, uh, I, I should invite the lady behind this webinar series, uh, and I, I I feel privileged enough to introduce her. Yesterday also we had a great session with her, and today she has joined us again. So Kavita Kukunur, ma'am. Uh, I would like to welcome her, who is the president and CEO of the Kavita Holistic Approach Car Study Group, and uh, holds so many, uh, so many. Uh, I would say so. Uh, he, she holds so many posts uh, presently, and she has served. Uh, she is the founder of Car Homeopathy Study Group and has served HWC Pro Bono, that is Homeopathy World Community, for ten years. She is also the outreach coordinator of CHC PR Committee. That's that's uh, certified and uh, a certified HP supervisor uh, in homeo profile access from Free and Healthy Children International, and also uh, one of uh, she's the both certified alternative medical practitioner from American Association of Alternative Medicine. 
so I welcome her and I would like to request her to please say a few words about today's session and uh, inaugurate the session. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Yashika. You have told so much about me. Thank you so much. And uh, first, I want to hello to everyone. And I sincerely want to thank Dr. Yashika, Managing and Content Developer, and Manish Ji, the Managing Director, and Homeopathy 360 team for giving this great opportunity to us to share holistic approaches of healing through energy medicine. I sincerely congratulate Homeopathy 360 again for the great accomplishments. It's a wonderful platform and encourage everyone to get associated with it. Connecting this platform connects several homeopaths around the globe with the latest updates, events, job opportunities, materials, and many more best services. And Dr. Yashika is doing amazing service and uh, along with their team. And of course, Dr. Yashika has already told several things about CAC Teddy Group and I need a um, little bit uh, uh, again, the first homeopathy study group from United States that has come up with this new concept of uniting practitioners throughout the globe. And CAR mission and vision is very unique to inspire young homeopaths, mentoring and bringing world-renowned homeopaths practitioners through free webinars and celebrates the stage four cancer survivors through inspirational book talks. And we provide excellence in educational purpose through the continuing educational credits following the principles of classical homeopathy and we encourage HNA accredited webinars. Today, our uh, CA advisor, Professor Regina Rianelli, she is the person behind all this and also Dr. Sweta Singh. So Professor Regina is from Brazil and uh, she is a pro bono homeopath for past 20 years. She works as university professor, doctoral student in science since 2016, master's in science and Reiki, grand Reiki master. She has over 3,350 clients who receive free medication and most of them are cancer clients. There is a lot to tell about Professor Regina, but I would like to hear from her and everyone. We are so excited. Please. Uh, go ahead and Dr. Sveta, would you like to say anything, please? Ma'am, she is uh, joining in a second. I think she, uh, she, uh, there is some internet glitch at her end. So I think uh, something happened. So for the timing, uh, you would say a few words a minute uh, and I think she'll be joining back. Yes. And uh, Professor Regina, would you like to start with uh, Gayatri Mantra for this? Uh, auspicious webinar absolutely shweta um, ma'am is joined ma'am okay welcome back shweta welcome dr shweta yeah. our chief administrator and the person behind our study group doing so much so and everyone i thank you om burwat swaha tat savitur varenyan Bargo deva sia di mahi dio yo na prachodaya. Thank you for this great opportunity. It's a bless to be here with your precious time and undivided attention. This means the world to us. We are having a homeopathy pro bono practice. Then we offer for free for over 3,335 clients their homeopathy medication based only on my university professor salary. We help homeless people and the ones in the slums, in the poor neighborhoods on the west zone of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And um, people are below poverty line. So they need um, hygienic items and powdered milk that we also offer. Me and my ama, we help uh, within our reach. And uh, it's been five years that we ha help Friendly Hands, Mons Amigas for babies with cancer and infants with cancer. We also offer them powdered milk. So it's a bless because 
We don't know these people. They come to us and we offer our best, just like Reiki. You will see that throughout the presentation. Thank you for your time. Bless you. Professor uh, and uh, Dr. Sveta, uh, would you like to say anything before she, uh, Professor Regina starts? Yes, ma'am, definitely. <laughs> thank you and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, opportunity to say something about uh, ma'am regina ma'am and she's a wonderful lady she's a i you told me that she's a, a cancer for survivor but she's a fighter and uh, she did a marvelous job handling all the things and she's doing so much for homeopathy that is commendable and all the best ma'am you will rock, I know. Thank you. Many blessings. Many blessings. Thank you. Can I start? Yeah, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. So I'm, a, I'm an advisor for Ka Homeopathy Study Group with Dr. Kavita and Dr. Shweta and also Dr. Yashika and many others that are here in togetherness for uh, the cause of homeopathy throughout the globe. I'm very fortunate to be among these webinar series from Homeopathy 360, who is such an important portal and that shares knowledge and put like-minded people in togetherness. And being with these people, that makes me a better person. And the footprints I want to leave is truthfulness, and the uh, ethics and love. So this is a pleasure being with you. We are talking about Reiki in hospitals and in clinics. And it started all with Dr. Uzui in Japan. So this is what we are studying. That's my bio. I, I have been a master's in science in 2005. And uh, January 2006, got my diploma, and I've been a doctoral scholar since the year 2016 at the University in Portugal in Europe. And uh, I'm very happy to be an advisor for CA Homeopathy Study Group that gets on the study groups, Materia Medica, case studies, and we help each other. In this picture, I'm with Dr. Lida Ohana. She's a pediatrician and uh, she trained me for 10 years. Uh, the Professor Euripides Barsanufo uh, free clinic and we did uh, homeopathy there for poor people in the slums and in Taquara neighborhood in Jacarepaguá in the south in the west zone of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And with her, I learned how to give away medication, how to give other items. And specifically this presentation today, I must thank Dr. Raul Jain G and Dr. John kabat -Zin from the UCLA Center of Mindfulness in Medicine. From their inspiration, I put up this presentation. We are talking about what is Reiki, the history of Reiki, how Reiki works, the chakras, the levels of Reiki training and healing, experiencing Reiki, how does it feel, how Reiki helps in hospital environment, Reiki attunement process, using Reiki healing for humanity, and the code of ethics. What is Reiki? It's a form of spiritual healing and bioenergy practice. It's using as energy medicine, treating the physical, emotional, and mental and spiritual diseases. Practitioners use a technique similar to laying of hands. And the energy is called Ki, is guided by university energy. And Ray, flowing with the palms of the hands to heal a person, an animal, a plant, 
the house uh, office area that needs healing. Reiki can be used to treat people, animals, plants, and environments, that I just said. What is Reiki? Rei means universal. Ki means energy. So Reiki means universal energy, the vital force that permeates the whole universe. The synonyms of Ki, Chi in China, Prana in India, Ka in Egypt, the Holy Ghost in the Bible, Organ by Dr. William Heisch, and Pneuma in Greek. We are dealing with all this fire, uh, earth, water, metal, and wood, basic energies. It benefits acupuncture, Hatha, Kriya, Nidra, Kudalini, Yoga. It benefits also homeopathy, Qigong, and many other types of energy medicine. On the physical level, Reiki gives that extra stamina we all need. It boosts immune system. For instance, I'm a, a stage four lung cancers with metastasis and uh, my immune system is very low. And then I use Reiki to build it up. Improves functioning of endocrine system and all the toxins are released. Reiki is highly successful in dealing with aches and pains. Headaches, back aches, arthritic pains, personal injuries. When Reiki is applied, fixed. Biopsies are avoided. We use Reiki in hospitals for pain reduction and side effects of drugs reduced. What's the history behind Reiki? It's a system of steel touch. It's the origin from Dr. Uzui in Japan. And we are talking about universe life energy. Reiki is a system of steel touch, not massage. When applied to the body, starts a process of deep relaxation that leads to equilibrium balance. How long it ta takes a session of Reiki? 20 minutes, an hour, 90 minutes. It depends on the time of the client. I know people that gives five minute Reiki and the client goes fine. So it depends on the needs of each person. So we start with the head, front torso, back torso, legs, knees, feet. At the site reiki.nu, we have pictures and hand positions, okay? And it's about 12 to 16 basic placing the hands. It's been used at the Mindful Awareness Research Center since 1998 at uclahealth.org, that the university. It's used as a complementary modality for emotional support and balancing. Reiki is used as a supportive treatment and taught to clients to improve their self-care. Reiki requires no energy, no technology, a good will, a giving heart, and knowing the chakras. You help and offer the services for free. And uh, Reiki is therefore a very good way to improve care while cutting costs. In year 2004, UCLA had a card for six months period treatment. The volunteer program started 2005 and thriving and funding fully approved as part of Optimal Healing Initiative. A survey conducted in 2019 indicates 1.2 million adults and 161,000 children in North America received one or more energy healing provided for patients, for family, for the staff. They even have a Reiki hotline. And so you got the link on the Twitter. How does Reiki work? It's a known 
for um, academic region, regions, but it apparently has a, a stabilizing influences. And we have many people working on the science part, proving that Re Reiki energy has healed and helped into homeostasis for many people. And uh, it helps the sympathetic and the parasympathetic system, enhances immunity, immunity, and Reiki improved to the pattern of sleep, reduced the pain and nausea, and also the anxiety during pregnancy. So it's significant and it's important. And many things are being discovered right now so here we start our presentation. Growing of Reiki in hospitals and clinics. Reiki supports the delivery of conventional medicine. Center for Reiki Research.org, tracking the use of Reiki in hospitals, medical clinics, and hospice programs. The planning of phase of efficacy of Reiki about these observed effects reduces stress, decreases the need for pain medication, improves sleep and appetite, accelerates the healing process, reduces many of the unwanted side effects of radiation and drugs, including chemotherapy. This is the group, the medical doctors, the nurses, and the Reiki volunteers that are holding hands in prayer before they go to the wards to apply Reiki for the clients. So it gives peace, relaxation, and helps boost immune system. More than 60 United States hospitals have adopted Reiki as part of patient services. According to UCLA study, and Reiki education is offered at 800 hospitals. So we are, that's the medicine Buddha, and we are dealing with a healing energy. The question is, can Reiki help speed healing after surgery? We'll see that, yes, that's the surgery going on, and there is a Reiki volunteer here giving the energy towards an ongoing surgery. It's like holding hands with the Almighty Lord. So the practitioners, they feel in the facial expression, contentment, while the patients in need get the soothing energy that's offered by General's hearts. These are the staff and the healing. Of course, you don't see that light coming off the hands, but you feel a tingling sensation. And when you're dealing with specific organs that need treatment or more time to get the Reiki energy, the palm of your hands get hotter. So you know where to start and where to stop for a longer period of time. So these are children with um, cancer patients and they're receiving Reiki for their quality of life to get improved. So it is an energy. And uh, we're dealing here with very powerful energy. Sometimes when you have a lot of volunteers, you work in pairs. So it gets rhythm on the client and you can see more people. Dr. Mehmet Oz, that has the cardio surgeon and uh, from Hollywood, he embraced the Reiki healing and he suggests to check the um, blood pressure after we apply Reiki that gets to a stabilizing energy level. Dr. Oz talk, took Julie Mott's which is a trained Heike reeler to be present at his cardiothoracic surgeries. 
while he was uh, operating, she was giving energy to the clients. And uh, Max reports that 11 heart patients, they were treated with Reiki in the post-operative depression, bypassing patients and the pain and leg weaknesses, the Reiki, even for transplant patients, experience no organ rejections. So Reiki helps throughout the treatment and through surgery and post-operation, a uh, fast recovery, which is a bless. This is, belongs to Dr. Kuri, OBGYN, acupuncturist. I painted uh, in year 2004. I put the doshas, the chakras, where the energy flows. I put the DNA on the level, on the down to the left part. And the nervous system that get benefits with the Reiki energy. So through painting, I wanted to express that um, all the goodness that's in the universe through God's hands flow to us and we are the work of God in the planet. So we can change some realities. And within the prayers, miracles happens. That Julie Moss used subtle energy healing techniques with patients. She makes a point to communicating caring feelings and positive thoughts to the patients. So some clients were with, with mastectomy in particular, and it's a different energy. These are the movements you do with your hands. We start with shokurei, and then we move. Reiki is an elevation of frequency that causes the body to experience a biological upgrade. That's how you feel. Sometimes you're low in energy, apply Reiki, then your mood swings. And that's a dear friend, Ivaldo Daora. He's a homeopath in Curitiba, and he practices Reiki from Archangel Michael. I work with the Uzui. And when uh, Ivaldo is working, he puts the precious and semi-precious stones on the chakras and on mini chakras. And in his mind, he sings, Michael, 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 Prince of the Archangels, from thy heavenly legions, stand for to set us free. From thy heavenly presence, all on earth adore thee, Lord, from the sun and all the naming flies. You lay mine, purify, manifest the glory of guardian angels that each one will be. So while he's positioning his hands, in his mind he chants and attracts Archangel Michael's blessings. And we all experience a great uh, uh, purify energy that gives us that little stamina we need to brighten our days. Medical Reiki works. That's myself. And uh, applying Reiki, we don't see the light from the hands, but we feel something's going on and you know this besides you're laying on the bed you know where the practitioner is holding their hands because you feel a warmth in every chakra and uh, that's uh, on a surgery as i mentioned earlier and we are giving reiki from the heart these are the books Reiki in hospitals, Reiki for common ailments, Reiki in clinical practice, and Dr. Uzui book. Pamela Miles, Reiki in medicine.org. There's a collection of medical papers in her own writings about Reiki. Reiki, a comprehensive guide. YouTube, Reiki and Pamela Miles channel. 
Reiki.new, use that hands position. And Reiki.org, Reiki in medicine, private to public to clinical practice. Requires a new set of skills, responsibilities. You are doing a volunteer work, but first you sign your responsibility. You're not getting paid, but you go there and offer your best, something that you cannot pay. The structure of a session, time for the healing response. You have to have ethics. What happens in the session stays in the session. Informed consent, and you gather data. So we work on the scientific approach of it. It's like you touching with God, hand to hand. It's self-modulated according to the recipient's need. It's receiver-driven. State of quietness, peace, relaxation. Staying detached from what is happening allows you to be a better observer as a Reiki practitioner. The developments, rapid balancing response, most often relaxation, flexible delivery that adapts to any situation, spontaneous delivery requires no intention. It's passive, non-thinking, it's hands-on, makes the connection. It's bioenergy at its best. The developments measure the palliative effects. Patient care starts with staff care. Staff under trained in self-care. Self-care is often not valued in health care. So we treat the patients that Dr. Lito Hanna on the left, the picture there, she's offering Heiki. Emotions of pa patients in the hospital. You work with the fear of the client that's going through a surgery or cancer. Uh, anxiety, it's out of control. Depression, emotions of the staff in the hospital. Some people are overwhelmed, some are sad, but it's like placing the baby by the heartbeats of the ama. So he gets soothing and can get into sleep. How does Reiki look? What does it feel like? We have to describe to the client. We paint the picture. We give a demonstration. It's a light, gentle touch, not massage. 20 minute sessions in the hospital setting is often helpful. Self-treatment positions, 12 basic hand positions. The eyes, the jaw, the back of the head, the throat, chest, upper belly, low belly, the groins, shoulder to shoulder blade hug, reverse arms, mid back and low back by the sacrum. Biofeedback, non-invasive measure reflects heart and the brain interactions. Coherence, efficiency, harmonious working in the nervous, cardiovascular, Hormonal and immune systems. That's the energy that flows from the hand. It's spiritual, it's given by God, and it's universal. The emotional level creates deep sense of well-being. Increased optimist. Positive attitudes toward life. Greater ability to deal with everyday challenges and aids burnout professional. Counteract incessant peace of mind. Deeper thoughts, processes accessible. Aware of what is really important, what really matters in the client point of view. Easier to avoid distractions, focus on tasks. Facilitates decision-making abilities, promotes mental clarity. Reiki is not a religion. The practitioner may receive messages or images while he's applying the Reiki. Also, receiver may re experience their own spiritual side, sense their connection to everything else, sense their own unique role to serve the world, and feeling of expansiveness. Sometimes you scent an incense, but there's nothing burning there but you feel it. Sometimes it's a tingling 
on the skin. It's like little stars are falling over you. These achievements, you can bless the food, raising the vibrational level of the food, mental cleansing. This is Shokure, this system. It's an energy boost, harmonious stamina, forgiveness, solidarity, and pure love. In pre-patriarchal India, Lord Krishna brought Reiki into this planet and encoded in the human genes. The Gautam Buddha discovered it. Jesus the Christ was trained in India. In the late 1800s, Dr. Uzui rediscovered from ancient Sanskrit Tibetan sutras. Sijiro Hayashi became master in 1925 and initiated 13 masters. Hawaii Otakata received her mastership from Dr. Hayashi in year 1938. She then trained 22 Reiki masters in North America and in Canada. Paula Horan and William Rand did a lot of the work in India on Reiki and trained masters. Uzui said he didn't see himself as a teacher. He made claims for what he practiced. Others approached him and asked to learn this Reiki thing, which he freely shared. And uh, Dr. Uzui was born in the Gifu Prefecture in Japan. He was a Buddhist priest and a spiritual healer. He descended from the famous samurai warlord Toshitan Chiba. His family practiced martial arts and he studied Aiki Jutsu. Not only being a Buddhist, he was also influenced by martial arts training, Shinto, Taoism, and Shugendo in the early 1920s. He did a 21-day practice called Kushu Shinren on Mount Kurama Yama. And this was the process that he developed the Reiki system. Dr. Uzui was awarded by the Kansan Award from the Japanese government because he worked as a volunteer to treat the earthquake victims. And the system is hands-on. It was formerly called Uzui Do, the way the Uzui preps. Then it was called Reiki. And uh, he had a problem of heart and he died of a stroke and at the age of 62, left two children and his wife. And then Some people say uh, Sujiro Hayashi was not Dr. Uzui's successor to his school, but he was a student to Uzui's and opened up a Reiki clinic in Tokyo. And then came along Hawaii Otakata. She was treating herself. And then from patient, she became a student and she opened her practice in Hawaii by the year 1970. She was very serious when she trained uh, new Reiki practitioners. She never allowed them to take notes. She was very strict. She didn't allow them to record anything and they have to pay 10,000 grand just to study with her Reiki. But Dr. Uzui says, just for today, do not worry. Just for today, do not feel anger. Honor your parents, your teachers, professors, senseis, elders. Earn your living honestly. Show gratitude to everything. So if you follow this, you'll be on the Reiki footsteps. These beautiful images shows the Najis, the chakras that are our physical, intellectual, emotion, and spiritual being. Reiki flows through this system. 
the pingla, the shushuma are the main nudges for flowing the reiki. This is Mahavatar Babaji and the um, spark of the key are given to everyone for lifetime. This energy has its own force known as the aura, which has colors. Along the spine, these energies have vortices called the chakras. So the Reiki removes blocks and balances the chakras, increasing the chi. The, it has a great impact in the endocrine glands and results in the healing. The chakra versus endocrine glands and emotional intelligence. The crown, the pineal, synergy, intuition and spirituality on the bro, the ajna, forgiving, discrimination, the emotional part of the being. The throat, the thyroid, communication, collectivity, the heart, the thymus, fearlessness, solar plexus and the pancreas, contentment, the sacral gonads, aesthetics, and the root chakra and the adrenals, innocence. These are the beautiful forms, the crown, the brow, the throat, the heart, solar plexus, it's yellow like the sun, sacral, and the root chakra. The color of the crown chakra, it's violet. The physical location, the top of the head. The purpose is intuitive knowing, connection to one's spirituality, integration of the whole. The spiritual les lesson is spirituality, living in the now, the mega living, the mindfulness. Mystical uh, depression, diseases of the muscular system, skeletal system, treats the skin, the chronic exhaustion, associated with physical ailments, trying sensitivity to the light, to the sound and the environment. It has in this chakra, magnetism, controlling patterns, emotional feelings. The Ajna and the Bro is the third eye. So its color is indigo blue. In the center of the forehead, purpose is action for ideas, insight, mind development. The spiritual lesson of this chakra, understanding, reality check. Detachment, brain tumors, strokes, blindfulness, deafness, seizures, learning disabilities, spinal dysfunction, panic attacks, and depression are treated in Reiki through these vortices. And the uh, information is seeing the clear picture. It governs the brain, neurological system, the eyes, nose, pituitary, and the pineal glands. The throat chakra, its color is blue, like Virgin Mary's blue. It's in the throat, the neck region, learning to take responsibility for one's, one's needs. It's Spiritual lesson is confession, surrender, personal will over to divine will, faith, truthfulness over deceit. We are spiritual beings in a physical world, in a material body. So we must master these techniques to treat ourselves and first love ourselves, then love and others and have gratitude towards God. We are working here with self-knowledge, truth, attitudes, hearing, taste, and smell. 
The heart chakra is the healthy color. It's green. The center of the chest, the purpose is our emotional and empowerment. We are working with forgiveness, unconditional love, letting go, trust, and compassion. We are treating love, compassion, confidence, hope. We are treating hate, envy, fear, jealousy, anger, mastering generosity. The area of the body, heat, circulation system, blood, blood lungs, rib cage, diaphragm, thymus, breast, and esophagus, and shoulders and the arms. Solar plexus, the yellow color, the sun color. The purpose is mental understanding and emotional life acceptance of your place in the life stream, self-love. We are treating here self-esteem, fear of re rejection, other sensitiveness to criticism, self-image fears, fears of our secrets being found. So this after abdomen, umbilicals, to rib cage, liver, gallbladder, middle spine, spleen, kidney, and adrenals is when you treat through Reiki the solar plexus. The sacral area, it's orange colored, like re re revitalization to the cells, lower abdomen and to the navel, emotion connection. We are treating low back pain, sciatica, OBGYN problems, pelvic pain, libido, and urinary tract problems. So we are dealing with sexual organs, stomach, upper intestines, liver, gallbladder, kidney, pancreas, adrenal gland, spleen, and middle spine. The root chakra, its color is red base of the spine. We are treating feelings, movements, lower back pain, sciatica, varicose veins, rectal tumors, depression, immune related disorders, spinal column, the kidneys and the legs. The, le the levels of the Reiki, level one, first degree healer has to place hands on the body of the recipient. This is the first step towards using the unlimited and wonderful healing powers of Reiki for treating oneself, others, and even plants and animals. The student is taught healing by hands-on method and is giving attunements for this level. Level two, we see the beautiful Ajna there in the middle of the picture. It's reaching heals body, emotions, situations, and the soul. The Reiki symbols are given and are secret and sacred as well. The healer is enabled to send the energy and perform the healing from any distance. Clearing anxiety, depression, or phobias. Manifest to achieve goals in life and help meditation flow in peace and deal with psychology problems too. Level three, polished well enhanced healing ability. Reiki master symbol is taught in this level enabling the personal development. The three B, the teacher level, meaning goes teaching and it's not required for healing but it's only for those who want to become Reiki masters and teachers to teach Reiki to other people. So we have first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth and fifth as a grandmaster. What happens when we get the Reiki sensing it? Some people fall asleep, some others, 
is experience warmth or tingling sensation from the Reiki energy. Sometimes gurgling in sounds from the stomach. Most experience a reduction in their pain. And I talk about pain, stage four cancer, the pains are enormous. So these Reiki preps help soothe these extreme pains. More people that are sensitive have experienced visual experiences during their sessions. It's not their own something, it's just that the energy attunes some areas of perception that leads to images or smelling sweet fragrances. So sense energy blockages, clear acupunctures, clear meridians, clear the chakras, clear the aura, speed up the healing, help calm, relax, reduce pain, no invasions help to body internals, work on the organ and the glands. The benefits, sleep disorders, system disorders, hormonal imbalances, depression, anxiety, and griefs. Promotes creativity, improves the memory, anti-aging, calms and balances the emotions, increase the intuition and other multi-sensory abilities, deepens the connection with the higher self, and you feel the presence of God within you. It helps in the progression of spiritual growth, promotes feelings of contentment, of pure love and inner peace. The attunement. Everyone is born with Reiki energy, when you attune, is a process that activates the ability to transmit and use with your own will at any time. Reiki is not taught, but transferred by a Reiki master during an attunement process. This process opens the crown, heart, and palm chakras and creates a special link with the Reiki universal source. The person receiving attunement becomes a Reiki channel for a lifetime. Reiki energy has intelligence on its own. It flows automatically based on the requirement of the person receiving Reiki. First level attunement, the first degrees introduce the learner to the energy healing as a history of the Reiki and the practice. First degree teaches the hand positions to allow Reiki flow for self-healing and for healing others. One can then heal oneself, their family, their friends, their loved ones, as well as you can bless your own water, your pets, your plants, your trees, even your food. The Reiki master normally requests feedback after an attunement. Many people report seeing colors, smelling pleasant fragrances, hearing different sounds, or experiencing a deep peace. It is also okay not to feel anything. However, you must stress that the Reiki was given. Trust your good feeling. Offer nothing but your best. Undertake a self-pleasing and self-healing for a week after the attunement processions. When you do that, you have some time for yourself. You have gave your energy away. So you must replenish your aura and your energy. And another week, you do it again. Do not rush through attunements. Because everything has a reason. Everything has a time to bloom and then we we select and we collect the blessings of the reiki is it a panacea i say no i've used it for cancer the past 11 years 
and um, I feel I feel I am better in energy level than I was before receiving the Reiki and I treat through homeopathy and the uh, acupuncture and, and the breathing techniques so I understand and my feelings of perceptions shows me that the Reiki energy improves my quality of life. It treats low self-esteem, even monetary problems, career problems, fixed ideas, post-traumatic traumas, and burnout professions. Can anyone receive Reiki? Oh, yes. The practitioner must be attuned by a Reiki master. And anyone with a sincere desire can learn Reiki by receiving these attunements. The healing touch is similar to Reiki, but does not include the formal attunements. Doesn't work like the prana healing does work. Okay? Last approximately takes 60 to 90 minutes a session. There are people that practice Reiki in five minutes. But their needs of soothing energy is different from someone post-operative, for instance. Treat done on regular healing table. Hands on, clothes on. It's not a birthday suit party. Enhanced treatments if client has intent to heal. Accepts the responsibility for own healing and has some trust in the process. Practitioner starts with a prayer, connects with client energetically through Reiki, prescribe the sequence of hand placement from the head to toe, and then on the back. Each hand placement is about three to five minutes. So some organs that need extra help, our palms will be even hotter. So we, can, we may spend another minute or two on these chakras helping the client. And throughout the sessions, you'll see an improvement very significantly. The practitioner varies time according to the need, may reveal cause of energy blockages. And the final is the sweep of the aura and you offer water for the client. Be open to adjust to changes. We know we have studied how to apply Reiki, but the client will tell you what he needs and we obey because he's also a divine person. He's a representative of God that you are having the opportunity to help heal. You are God's hand on planet Earth. So you must do with ethics and responsibility. So the positions and the effects. You can be an angel, you can be a wizard, you can be an Indian or a normal being. But you don't need to be a guru to do it. It depends on the heart. If you're giving heart, generosity, um, solidarity, and, and the charisma, the Reiki brings this positive energy. When you attune, you call high. You knock on the doors of the enlightened ones. So you connect to the Buddha of medicine and comes this energy and you apply on your Reiki sessions. So we help the client feel of um, their needs of energy, of inner peace, of self-improvements. This is the Shokurei. And the hand that's in Reiki.nu, all these positions. First degree, lay hands on positions and on the feet. It's kind of smoothing the energy. 
and then it helps the people slowly get up after the healing is complete some clients fall in deep sleep some even snore the registered practitioner needs to be safe and comfortable area and have the pure and clear intention to offer your services for the highest healing good of the client and the highest potential of the student. Provide a brief photo or written description what's going to take place and be respectful at all times. Ha hands on, not massage and clothes on. You don't strip anyone. So we educate people the value of the Reiki. Being a part of integrative healing wellness program, as well as energy medicine. The code of ethics, we are getting to the end of the presentation, suggest a consultant or referral to clients and licensed therapists, naturopaths, energy practitioners when needed. So you're doing this with an acupuncturist and you're treating with endocrinologists and your homeopath. So all of them and the psychiatrists or the psychologists, whatever, they help the client through this learning school that is the planet Earth, Mother Gaia. We are here for a reason. The treatment is needed. So we create an environment of harmony friendly cooperation and you master being a better person for yourself so we will be a pillar to the community and doing the best job possible so actively working on the healing so to embody and fully express the essence of reiki these lives contain material from Creative Commons on the sole educational purpose of explaining what Reiki offers. All intellectual property are from Dr. Raul Jain G and John kabat -Zin, the professor of the Center of Mindfulness in Medicine, UCLA. All this is offered to you for inspiration to this educational purpose. The books used were Reiki at the Clinical Practice from Anne Baldwin, Hands of Light from Barbara Ann Brennan from the NASA, Reiki and Seven Chakras from Richard Ellis, Reiki Healer, A Complete Guide to the Path and Practice of Reiki from Lawrence Elliard, Reiki for Common Ailments, you must find and use the bookshops from Mary Hall and the voice of Babaji, the Kriya Yoga publication of Nila Kantam, Reiki for Life, Penelope Quest, and of course the basic one, the original Reiki handbook from Dr. Mikao Zui. So that's my thanks for your precious time, undivided attention, lots of love, light, and Reiki. Many blessings. That was very nice, um, Herikina. Dr. Yashika? And Dr. Sveta is here. for a great opportunity of sharing some of our experiences through Reiki. It's a blessed energy and uh, it's being a stage for cancer for uh, survival for 11 years. I have been benefiting from the Reiki energy as well as homeopathy during this period. And I say that my quality life has improved significantly. Thank you. I'm Shanti. Beautiful. Are there any questions? 
we all got not yet ma'am reiki session reiki healing our body and mind yes it is it's soothing it sets a balance and inner peace yes dr shweta ma'am would you like to have a question audio oh shweta we cannot hear no ma'am uh no questions uh, but i would like to congratulate you for this wonderful webinar uh, i'm happy that i got to know ka and through dr kavita ma'am and this is my second time i'm listening about reiki uh, from you it looks like uh, what dr hanneman discussed as uh, mesmerism in aphorism 293 in his organ on of medicine and it's amazing to know the benefits of reiki and the color effects i myself experienced uh, there are many colors which are which gives energy which are so energetic ha give happiness and some colors are little depressing so it it vary from individual to individual but your webinar this is wonderful thank you so much for sharing uh, your views thank you thanks a lot Absolutely, true. Absolutely true. I can hear. Oh, Doctor Deepa. Doctor Deepa, 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 Doctor Deepa,
Kavita Ma'am and Shweta Ma'am to share their views on today's session. Dr. Kavita Ma'am. Yes, thank you so much, um, Dr. Yashika, for giving us this opportunity. And as far as uh, Professor Rechina, I would say the way I got connected to her was through Debbie, my dearest friend. And when she was diagnosed with stage four cancer um, in 2000, end of the 2014 and 15, that is how I came up with the idea of a Friends Forever series. So I started doing with Debbie every year, making a wish that they stay for long with health and uh, um, God will bless them. So after she passed away, her soul I could see in Regina. So that is how we got so connected and as stage four cancer, she is very inspirational to everyone. And the love which I got from Debbie, unconditional love perfectly um, was there in Regina. So being with cancer for 11 years is is not that easy but her inspiration the same way with Debbie no one knows that she has a cancer the way in, her, in the videos which we did friends for our series so she's very inspirational and thank you so much Regina for being with us and inspiring um, all of us and as far as Dr. Sweta was saying about the color remedies the color chakras reiki and all this energetic they really go so well and orange is the remedy for pleasure. So, and green, calmness, pink, love. So, and many other. So, and uh, so, Dr. Yashika, shall, do you mind shall I announce uh, the upcoming event for tomorrow? Or do you want to take any questions? Hello. So tomorrow we have Dr. Sweta Singh speaking about homeopathy and dermatology, a holistic way of healing at our homeopathy 316 and uh, Carl's webinar series. Can you hear me, uh, Yashika? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can, yes, you, ma hear can me? you hear me? Okay, good. Yeah. So. Thank you so much, ma'am, for announcing about tomorrow. I hope people will join us tomorrow and we'll get to learn a lot from Dr. Shweta Singh, ma'am. Uh, she she is a, she is also an inspiration for many upcoming homeopaths uh, today. Being uh, being a, a, be, being such a young age, she has achieved so much, and we are lucky to have her tomorrow uh, on this platform. So I think uh, for today we can end this session. It was a great webinar. I want to thank uh, Professor Regina, ma'am, for uh, uh, for uh, guiding all of us about Reiki. And um, this was a great. First of all, I've heard about Reiki. Reiki and, uh, attended a webinar on Reiki, so I got to know many of the things. And it was seriously uh, an enthusiastic uh, webinar for me myself, and a very great uh, webinar. I hope the audience enjoyed and I'm thankful to them for their patient listening. So thank you so much. Thank you Kavita ma'am and Shweta ma'am for joining us. We come to the end of this uh, webinar of today. Uh, with the, uh, your permission, with all your permission ma'am, uh, Regina ma'am and Kavita ma'am and Shweta ma'am, can we end today's session? Uh, one thing, um, Dr. Yashika. So just wanted to announce that on November 8th, we have Dr. Manchanda and Kathy Lemon speaking about the opportunities and challenges for homeopathy in COVID-19 pandemic experience from India and also homeoprophylaxis, its history roots. And we have HNI approved homeopathy uh, car webinar, which is management on thyroid diseases, which is on November 15th. And we have many more webinars on homeopathy 360. Please do not miss them. And uh, be a part of Homeopathy 360 and CAR webinar series. Thank you so much once again, Dr. Yashika and Manish team and Homeopathy 360 team. And Dr. Sweta, would you like to wrap, please? Thank you, ma'am. And um, thanks to all the viewers for joining us uh, in this collaboration of Homeopathy 360 and CAR uh, team.
thank you thank you regina uh, i am blessed to be surrounded by all you people uh, you are giving me such a positive vibes and you are all an inspiration to me thank you so much thank you thank you thank you namaskaram thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you everyone thank you thank you homeopathy 360 cheers